the next item is menu layout. If one wants to uh, change the items in these menus or add new items or perhaps change the names or the icons, uh, the icons should be changed automatically when one selects a new icon theme, which is the subject of another tutorial on changing themes and, and other similar preferences. But in any event, this is another place where one can manually go in and, and make changes to the system. As you can see, it's got open uh, right now the applications menu. You can see the system menu. Basically, the you know the menus that you see up here, other than places perhaps, and it shows you the different subcategories that can be enabled if one has applications. For example, under education, it's not selected because there are no education applications currently installed. Uh, but uh, this is a place where one can go in and, and really modify the, the menus on the system. Menus and toolbars is a is a way where one can go to customize uh, the behavior and appearance of menus and toolbars. For example, as you can see in applications, you can see it's got both the menus and the icons, and you can select if you want the text below the icons or the text beside the icons or icons only. There's lots of different combinations of things that uh, that, that one can choose to really customize the look and feel of the menus and toolbars. The next item under preferences is mouse. And as you can guess, this is a tool to configure the mouse, whether it's left-handed and you can change the, 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 the double click, how, how quickly it takes one to double click. Uh, if you like a slow double click or a fast double click, there are different pointer themes that are available and the acceleration and sensitivity and, and other similar settings related to the mouse. The next item under uh, preferences is uh, network proxy. If one is, uh, this is a sort of a more advanced tool, but if one has manual proxy configuration settings, one can go set those here. This will apply to the default browser. There's, of course, um, a way you could ignore certain hosts, but most people probably would not need to use that preference tool, but if one does, that's where it's located. Similarly, uh, Palm OS devices is one for folks who have uh, Palm uh, devices, handheld devices, one can go configure those here. And then the last item that we'll cover in this uh, first of the two parts is power management. And this is a tool that uh, allows one to change settings related to sleep of the display and the computer after a certain amount of time and things like that. There's different icons that are available. If one wants an icon available up in the notification area, one can choose to have that there. So uh, that is the first half of the preferences submenu of the system menu found in the uh, menu bar on the GNOME desktop environment in Ubuntu Linux. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.